around, baby. Oh. So backed up and this bit of ground gave out and I ended up going down. So we are going to try to get this truck out. I'm on the sliders. And look at my drive shaft, dude. I'm here with Johnny Talk Outdoors on our way to meet up with some friends in Arizona to start one of the most epic seven day adventures of our lives. I drove 12 hours at this point and we're looking for camp. Now I'm stuck in the earth. We are in uncharted, unfamiliar territory and it is pitch black out here. I'm caught in a dilemma. Go forward and destroy my rear drive shaft or go backwards and possibly destroy my front end. This trip cost me a lot of sacrifice and months of planning. It could be over before it even starts. And thank you Trustfire for sending me this headlamp. It's become my go-to lamp, especially during night recoveries. I have to admit, I am getting a little nervous. I'm using a 12,800 pound synthetic winch line. Ideally, you want something to anchor down the rope, but the science has told me that this rope will lose energy really quickly. Somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, because let me tell you, right now, nothing feels safe. How's your truck looking? It's moving. <laughs> Oh crap, this is crazy, Jeff. What have we done? Nope. No luck. Going forward looks like a no-go, so I'm gonna attempt to go backwards and try to fish my way out of this. All right, stop there. Stop, stop, stop. You're off, you're off your drive shaft and your gas tank now. So we used two traction boards in the front here to get the lift because he was on his gas tank and his drive shaft. So we're now free. Now we just got to figure out how to wiggle it back and forth. You know? Okay. Bunker Industries. <laughs> I know. Hey, thanks Bunker Industries. We're using it. Send me another pair. I need four. <laughs> Look at my driving. That's true. All right, so that's, it's not dented. Okay, you scraped it pretty good. I don't see a dent or anything. Right? Yeah. Look at that. Dude, look at all that. I just took all the paint off of yeah. that. Yeah, right it's down in the rock. Yeah, I gotta redo that. That's probably when you were on the gas right here, huh? Yep. All right, so look your it. gas tank. Your gas tank looks good. We would see a leak. Yeah. Everything's good. This whole road gave out. This is the desert dangers. The Amazon stuff just not holding up. This is terrible. <laughs> this is trash. Yeah, this is the, what, what, what is this? It's like the $50 one on Amazon. But these Bunker Industries one, dude, they've been holding solid tonight. Look at that. We've been using them a lot. Thank you. Get some, get yourself a quality pair, or you can't get yourself out of a, what is that, like a two, three foot ditch? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna try to come up this area here, because like the desert monsoon wall. season can easily wash away dirt roads, paved watch? and unpaved, especially in the back country. I play too close to the edge, and I'm paying the ultimate price for it. Just don't fall in. You want me to move the traction boards? Yeah. Ah, you're getting close, bro. This road is ready to collapse more. I need to stay away from the edge. 
You're good. All right, stop, stop, stop. You're close. You're like five inches away. Yeah, keep keep doing that. Yeah. You're good if you want to go back. Yeah, you're good if you want to go back. You're good on this side. Keep turning. I don't know. Oh. Hey, buddy! Heck yeah. Dude. Took two on that one, man. That wow. Was, uh... Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just move it a little bit. Yeah. I am exhausted, but so happy that there's still hope I might be able to continue my adventure. And at this point, it might be two in the morning. We pulled up to the base of Goff's Butte, enjoying the still of the night and the distant sounds of the trains passing by. I put Big Booty Judy through a lot today. She seems to be driving well, but for now, I'll enjoy the Mojave Desert's dark skies and dream of gold fever. Welcome to Arizona. Well, almost. This seven day adventure, we are going to be traveling the Arizona backcountry overgrown trails and explore everything they have to offer. Don't blink, hit the subscribe button. I hope you don't miss a second of it. As we head back on our off road adventure, we pass several stark reminders of how fortunate I am today. I'm filled with gratitude and a rush of resilience. This will be a lesson learned. We see something off in the distance and decide to go and investigate. All right, you guys, so Jeff told me to meet him here and he sent me this coordinate and it's like this old Abandoned trailer home? Who's there? Jeff! Oh shoot, it's you, dude! Dude! A tornado hit the house, bro, and I don't know, look at all my stuff got ruined. Hey, I don't got reception anywhere. I think we're being invaded, bro. Let's go, let's go. Swing low, sweet Coming for the Finding an old abandoned school bus and museum 
in the middle of a desolate desert is quite unexpected and makes for a very memorable landmark. The origins and purpose of this bus in particular have been the subject of much speculation. What do you think? Hey, you guys take Apple Pay? Oh, <laughs> there we dude, go. These are hey, great. what's yeah, going dude. on? Dude, we got the Duro Bumps yeah. out here. Johnny Duro. Adventure Squad Judy is actually running the original Duro Bumps, and we are about to upgrade. Look at these mud terrains. We got the same bumper. Ah, uh, brute force. Billy the boy. Pretty solid bumper. It defended me uh, when my e-brake cable broke. Or no, excuse me, my drums failed and the truck rolled backwards into a Ranger Trevor. And he, he didn't fare so well. It's all on us now. Oh, I'm faster though. It's actually somebody who owns the air tag, so she has Johnny's truck. He just intentionally wanted to keep him out of the walkie-talkie group. That's, that's cool. I'm gonna give him this walkie. This is Cody and White Dog from White Dog Overland. Here's another Arizona legend. This is Q. A lot of you guys know this guy, Johnny, Duro Bumps. Frequent to this channel, Johnny from Johnny Taco Outdoors. And the other Jeff, LFG Overland on Instagram. You guys are 
We're all new to this area of backcountry roads. It's getting late and all of our campsites seem to be coming up short so far. This may be our last option here, so I think we should give this a try. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cow central. It's under this windmill, but I, I really don't think we're going to have much help, so we're going to lose daylight. It's just the sun with a pin on it. Don't worry about it. I do have an open bed. We visited site after site. It was still a bust, but we explored a lot of interesting structures along the way. We're trying to find camp, so we don't think we're going to camp here. Uh, we're going to keep pushing. This, this is antique. <laughs> this is an antique shower head. How much are you going to put that on? <laughs> yeah, for? you guys didn't put that I thought that was a bow. Thank you. Look oh, it, oh, somebody oh. knows how to do shoes. <laughs> They're working on their resale game. So we don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll figure something out. Check it out, guys. Everything out here wants to hurt me. Doesn't that sound like a good time, guys? Welcome to Arizona. All I know is that this rocking back and forth is making me very dog. Did we discover camp? Yeah, boy. Right on. Is it big enough for us to camp? I'm gonna just keep pressing on a little bit, see if I find anything. Wow, I didn't know someone's camera was right there. You got enough room, LFG? Excited. Duro Bumps, man, sponsored this trip. Can we find your dog? I'll bring her back. I don't have a dog. Your horse? Is that like a cabin up, up there, dude? We might as well walk over and check it out. What do you guys say? No, I drove too far to walk that far. Uh, do some night wheeling, enjoy the fire and each other's company. Guys, tonight's gonna be pretty simple. Some noodles, got some onions. My wife packed me some sausages to throw in there. It's gonna be delicious. I was gonna put in your, uh... Me? Well, I'm just seeing how he makes his ramen, honestly. Because everybody makes their ramen differently. And I, like, I'm extra, bro. So I do what he's doing. So I'm just, I love cooking. Not a good time. <laughs> well, no, I'm... It is so delicious. You just add some pre-cut stuff that's frozen, so you don't need to add ice. It's so delicious, guys. Some fresh onions. Nice and crunchy, but a little soft. That's, that's a really good meal on a hot day. I'm really gonna enjoy this. I'm not driving, these two are driving. I'm way past the point of driving. <laughs> Man. But that truck is, uh, both these are ready to get bashed on pretty good. So we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna go out in the middle of nowhere that we you flew the drone, <laughs> and we're just gonna go look at some cabins at night. And oh uh, some of them look pretty trippy. And uh, we're gonna take the Duro Bump second gen and the first gen, and we're gonna go have some fun. Going, I'm let's, excited. Let's go. Let's it's gonna go. be a great time, bro. <laughs>
did not want to be a soft rotor today. You want a tug? Dude, how did you make it through here? Oh, you can make it through a lot more than this shit. What is happening right now? So when that happens, it's because you got big ass tires and you just gotta grab it right here. You put one foot. What? It's working. <laughs> and now your side marker went. Is that how you? Well, back up. Don't, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> don't break it. <laughs> oh shit. We're, we're all right. Starbucks <laughs> didn't really work out. <laughs> we were gonna look for cabins, <laughs> and then Cody said, "Take a right," oh, man. and I took a right, and look where we're at. Oh. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna solve the problem. It's still, good night. It's all right. We're not really that stuck, honestly. It's not like we're in a wash. He said the right way through. It went through, it's, but it did. But it stopped right about there. Now we have to go get some coal and fix it. I'm gonna pack some rope. I got a couple, you know, soft shackles. This is a Factor 55 hitch link, just in case. We got this uh, lighting system. The other guys are grabbing tools. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Okay. This is so rough. Dude. I think if we get right to that hump right there, we could pull me back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come back to this rock right here. Do you see this rock in your rear view? Get that back. Well, I'll winch. I'm not gonna make it through it solo, but I'll winch. Oh, here, here, take this, take this, uh, hit that. Put this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, it's going back in. But who knows if it, if it sheared on the inside, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hope you're not getting that shit on you. That stuff will stain your clothes for the rest of your life. Well, this this whole memory is gonna stain my good memories for the rest of my life because this is a great time. I, you, you just you need to get out of it. You need to get out of it. Every time Cody takes me out, I have to pull U-turns. Don't go out with that guy. He's he's dangerous. I have to back down trails and whatnot. Dude. He's dangerous, guys. Don't 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 hang out with that guy. White dog overland. He's crazy. We found We're scouting, <laughs> and obviously, as you can see, this guy's—they're not that big. Okay, we can't fit a vehicle through here. You're so not man. that guy. Okay, <laughs> you're not that guy. We're gonna have to turn around. We're gonna have to turn around. 
Yeah, that's part of the game. But we'll get it though, because we got a good team. We got good recovery equipment. And we got positive attitudes. Dude, I have Baja designs. Do you think I have lockers? See how far we can get off that road. Headlamp is. Look at this. Uh, trust fire, guys. Trust fire. I'll show you guys later. Jeez, back. There we go. All right, the truck is recovered. Nothing for damage. <laughs> Let me show you it. A little bump right there, but part of it, I pulled it all out. Not bad. A little bit of leaking fluid underneath. Is it still leaking? A oh, little geez. bit, just barely. Uh -huh. But uh, nothing to be worried about. We can still make it home and still have a good time. Uh huh. And uh, still got four wheel drive. CB axles in the pack. We just had to pop it back in place. It just popped out a little bit. Um, I think my bushings are worn out on my diff. So I think it just moves side to side a little bit too much on there. And I pushed it a little bit too hard, but that's part of the game when you try to have fun. And night will. Right? And night will, and it's just part of it. it. Yeah. Hey, it, it is what it is, and we're still going to go out, and we're still going to see some cabins. We just got to recoup, set the recovery gear away, and we're going back. We just cleaned this. It, there's literally wood everywhere in here. The wood's inside the glass. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wrong way. Well, I guess we're going the other way. Let's see where, where he takes I us. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. So, we thought we were good. 
it popped out so we probably blew a, a clip on it and uh, it's just working its way out so we're gonna have to replace it just part of the game can't go no farther or else we're gonna tear up more stuff we're gonna take the duro bump second gen and we'll keep on going to have fun tonight and we'll worry about it later we ain't gotta leave until tomorrow night we got spare parts everybody has spare tools hey we'll fix it later <laughs> hear this oh that's not too bad right there no it sounds pretty good we're just gonna park it let's go explore some cabins That's some Blair Witch Project shit. That is crazy. Super creepy. All right, number one. Oh. Great. <laughs> so I just moved in here, so don't judge me. This is where I keep my king uh, pack. It's right. <laughs> I keep my king pack lettuce because I farm out here. That's a piss bottle. Oh, <laughs> those are all like wrap droppings. I broke down the mountain, so this is my new house. No. So I got uh, the upper deck and the lower deck, and then I have a porch that I can go is up the hill hole? over here. Oh, that's this is like that? a ton of needles right there. Yeah, dude. it's not not, not the friendliest. Oh. Okay, let's go see the next one. I'm never going out with White Dog Overland again. <laughs> oh, this is what we're going out on tomorrow. What hey, cabin. Uh, cabin. Oh, oh cabin. Oh, cabin. That's a oh, fucking oh, oh, This one. Oh, 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 oh. That's Someone a trailer. Here or what? Park this thing in oh, the just, I, Yeah. You got right. that thing on you? Yeah. This had to be like the storage. They're holding. What is happening in here? Oh my god! Why is there so many teddy bears? Dude, it reminds me of a horror game. Dude, there's holes everywhere in here. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, you know it's weird. Oh. Ouch. That's my rental property. <laughs> so, uh, this is the one that I Airbnb for $1,300 a weekend. Go check it out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's walk in there. Let me show you the roof real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Show you the roof. Oh no 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 It's been hot, but if you love deserts, you're no stranger to huge sunsets as far as the eyes can see. Same with the intense, immense, stargazing sky views from horizon to horizon. If you made it this far, subscribe to stay on the adventure. Only 3% of my viewers are subscribed, and I'm working hard to hit 5% by the end of the year, so I need your help. Thank you. And I hope to see you in the next video as we take a deep dive into Arizona's backcountry roads and we find all the adventure we're looking for.